2016 Skoda Octavia 1.6 TDI. It has a problem with um, fuel pump, not the fuel pump, the high pressure pump that's in the engine, but the one um, at the back just sits on the top of the tank, which is underneath those seats. Together with the driver of this vehicle, Emil, and a great guy at the same time, he's gonna be filming this, we're gonna replace the fuel pump in this car. Tank is located roughly under the seat, so we need to remove this bench first. So what we do, we pull Isofix out. Some, sometimes they have like a little plastic covers here, so take those covers out and then pull, pull this out. They have a curve here, so you can just take it out. Isofix plastic fixings. So next thing we do, there are two clips here approximately. So we grab the seat and forcefully push it up like that. So another thing that's holding here is like a little hook. If you can have a look from inside here, see there's like a little hook catching the fabrics. So you take this fabrics off. Come on. Then we oh it's catch caught again here. There we go. And it simply comes out like this. I will put it somewhere safe. That's the top of the uh, fuel pump. Then we take plastic wedge or a screwdriver, whichever works for you, and you pretty much unclip this bit. And what you can do as well, push this rubber bit inside so we can have access to all of it so uh, there are two electric connectors and two hoses coming in coming out one return one is out normally blue color is return and black color is the feeding pipe that goes to the motor and um, we're gonna remove electrical connectors first one two and then these pipes later. It's a bit dirty here because this is pretty much coming from the road. It's uh, This is bottom of the car and that's the fuel tank. Uh, to remove electrical connector, you push this red bit out first and then you press on it and then you're able to remove it. So this one out and then you press on it. This one, oh this one is doesn't even need to be, it's, this one you just push it and so to remove fuel pipes, this one feeding pipe, you push it onwards first a little bit and then there are two like a plastic levers on each side. So you push it onwards, squeeze them and then it comes off. And it comes off with some little bit of spillage, we'll clean it up. This one here, I'll take the camera, there is a, this blue bit you press on it and then you pull it up there you go so we press on this blue bit and then pull it up that's it if you your car has auxiliary heating you might have extra fuel line extra connectors so just disconnect all connectors and all hoses out of here I'm gonna move this aside and this one can go to rest somewhere nice. There we go. So next what we have here is uh, pump is held by this big nut, big nut, or they, they call it nut, but as you can see, just like a metal ring that catches in few catches and it goes like a thread. So there is a special tool for that. It's not uh, that easy to get hold of and I don't see the point of buying it. We can get something else. Well, normally what people do, they use a screwdriver or a little punch tool and make a hit on this sticking out bit just to make it turn.
little by little from all sides. There we go. So I'll try from all around and here come here it comes out. Not yet. Need to be turned a little bit more. There we go. And now it pop up. We're going to replace it. I've got a replacement one. There's nothing wrong with reusing one, but I just want to make it perfect. So I'm using some towels. It's actually puppy training pads, so they can piss on them. Now we're going to piss on them with the diesel. Remember the position of this uh, uh, pump, so it goes, this sticking out bit goes to, towards the back of the car. Or if your car is different, then remember how it went. And now slowly, we pull it out, it will be full of diesel, that's the reason I'm having these. <sighs> A rubber seal came out, a rubber seal we're going to replace as well. And here comes, and there will be another sticking out bit, we're going to see it in a minute. Basically what it is. Is your level sensor so as you fill it up it goes up and down so this is now you know how it works so I'm gonna take it out put it in a tray this is our new unit by the way everything I do there is a link in the video in description with uh, to my website where you can find this job with a step-by-step -step guide with images uh, Part number, part number for this one, by the way, 5Q0919050. And then there are two letters that change depending how how old is the pump. But they are not so. They each, the the older letters in the alphabet, the newer model is. So let's put the rubber seal first that, that we have. So now we're gonna put this rubber seal on, the new one. So it sits here nice and happy. There we go. Really? Also what manual says, take a bit of diesel and lubricate this rubber seal so it goes in easier the new unit you see this little arrow here it's like a little arrow here or like a point so it has to align with this point so this is how you put the new unit in so start with this level sensor first and then you push it in carefully By the way, while doing this job, make sure that your tank is not more than one third full. Otherwise, it will be lots of trouble, lots of fuel around. Now you can push it in and we'll take a new nut. And press it in like that. Slowly but truly it's getting there. I've got a little tool, I bought it like for 20 quid on eBay. It's a pulley holder, very simple. It has different type of pins, wider, smaller. I use it for like a pulley turns on my combo jobs. But we're gonna use, as an option, we can try to use this one. I just want to try it. If we can turn it with the pulley holder. Oh, easy. So this is a not a bad tool. So any, anything goes. 
There is a special socket for dealerships, but there is no point of buying socket unless you do these fuel pumps every day. Like that. Let's take them in. There we go. Nice and tight. Yeah, so we don't even go just past the middle. We go to the middle approximately. It feels really tight. Make sure that every catch on each side of this pod, so it sits straight. So now what we can do, we can take this pipe back, take this protection off and push. Now you push this till it clicks, like that. Our other one, return. Make sure there's no dirt. So you can cover alternatively, don't be like me, you can put like a grub, rubber glove around it, rubber, rubber glove, but it will go for filter anyway, till it clicks. Like that. There we go, and then our connectors, and push this red one in, this one, till it clicks. rubber one so it stays in here happy this one has two little hooks that you catch first and then you pass the rest in so like that this one first this two and this one all these are going so everything clicks happy happy okay now we're putting everything back together as, as it was till it clicks all in a link in the video description on the website.